In this video, we would be going through law of multiple proportions. So let's see what the statement of the law is. Two elements can combine to form more than one compound. Mass of one element combining with the fixed mass of other are in simple whole ratios. So remember that the statement of the law can differ slightly in wordings, but the meaning remains the same. So let us take some examples. The first example that I'm taking here is carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Now we see that two elements can combine to form more than one compound. So the two elements in carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide are carbon and oxygen. So these two elements are combining in different ratios to form more than one compound. More than one compound is carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Now remember the physical properties, the chemical properties are totally different in carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide even though their core elements remain the same. So what we are supposed to do in this is take each compound at once and find the mass of elements in each of these compounds. So let us begin with carbon dioxide, CO2. So we know that the atomic mass of carbon is 12 and the atomic mass of oxygen is 16. But there are two atoms of oxygen, so it would be 16 into 2, which is 32 grams. So what it means is that to react with 12 grams of carbon, we need 32 grams of oxygen. Now, the other compound is carbon monoxide, CO. Again, the atomic mass of carbon here is 12 grams and the atomic mass of oxygen is 16 and there is also one atom so you need not have to multiply it's, it's just 16 into 1 which is 16 grams. So to react with 12 grams of carbon we need 16 grams of oxygen. Now we see that in both these cases carbon is the one which is having fixed mass. In, in carbon dioxide carbon is having 12 grams even in carbon monoxide, it is having 12 grams. So carbon is the one which is having fixed mass. So we are supposed to take the ratio of oxygen. That's what the statement even means. Mass of one element combining with the fixed mass of other. Here yeah, the fixed mass of other element is nothing but fixed mass of carbon. So we are supposed to take into consideration mass of oxygen mass of one element mass of oxygen and take its ratio and what we will find is it's in simple whole ratios let let us do that so the ratio of oxygen carbon dioxide to that of oxygen carbon monoxide is 32 by 16 there is 32 grams in carbon dioxide and 16 grams in carbon monoxide so when we simplify it further we get the ratio as 2 is to 1 so we see that it is a simple whole number ratio. That is what this law even means. Let us take another example. H2O, that is water molecule, and H2O2, that is hydrogen peroxide molecule. Let us take them one by one. First is H2O, water molecule. You know that the atomic mass of hydrogen is one and there are two atoms, so it would be one into two, that is two grams. The atomic mass of oxygen is 16 and there is only one atom so it would be 16 into 1 so simply write it as 16. So to react with 2 grams of hydrogen we would need 16 grams of oxygen. We could also say it inversely as to react with 16 grams of oxygen we would need 2 grams of hydrogen. Now the other compound is hydrogen peroxide. In this we know that the hydrogen atomic number is 1 and there are 2 atoms, so it would be 1 into 2, that is 2 grams of hydrogen. And the atomic mass of oxygen is 16 and there are 2 atoms, so it would be 16 into 2, that is 32 grams. So what we can know that is to react with 2 grams of hydrogen, we would need 32 grams of oxygen. Now again, we know that two elements are combining to form more than one compound. Hydrogen and oxygen, these are the two elements that are combining in different ratios to form more than one compound. Mass of one element combining with the fixed mass of other. So we know that hydrogen is having fixed mass here, 2 grams 
of hydrogen in water molecule as well as 2 grams of hydrogen in hydrogen peroxide molecule. So what we are supposed to do is take the ratio of the other element, mass of one element. So we are supposed to take the ratio of oxygen because hydrogen is the one that is having fixed mass. So let us take the ratio of oxygen in water molecule to that of oxygen in hydrogen peroxide molecule. So it would be 16 upon 32. When we simplify it further, we get the ratio as 1 is to 2. So this is another example for law of multiple proportions. Another example that I can possibly give here is phosphorus trichloride and phosphorus pentachloride. So here the elements are phosphorus and chlorine. That These elements are combining in different ratios to give PCl3 and PCl5. So again, let us take them one by one. PCl3. The atomic mass of phosphorus is approximately 31 and the atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5 but we see that there are three atoms so it would be 35.5 into 3 now that would be 106.5 now in phosphorus pentachloride PCl5 the atomic mass of phosphorus is again 31 and chlorine is 35.5 but there are five atoms now so it would be 35.5 into 5 which is equals to 177.5 so we see that phosphorus is the one which is having fixed mass in both these compounds so phosphorus is fixed so we are supposed to take the ratio of chlorine in these two compounds so the ratio of chlorine in phosphorus trichloride to that of chlorine in phosphorus pentachloride is 105 sorry 106.5 divided by 177.5 on further simplification we see that chlorine is present in the ratio of 3 is to 5